Good morning, Bear. How are you Hi today? There. How are you doing? I'm doing Good. well. Good, surviving. <laughs> You're surviving, I'm sure, as always. So we're really looking forward to your new show on NBC, Get Out Alive. It seems like the perfect fit for you. You're the host of the show. It involves survival, crazy challenges. Tell me more about it. Uh, well, for me, it's a show that I've always really wanted to make where I empower regular people with a lot of these skills. And I take 20 regular Americans, 10 couples, you know, father, son, mother, daughters, loved ones, best buddies, and take them on these eight epic journeys across some of the toughest mountains and rainforests, uh, you know, in the, on the planet. We filmed on the South Island in New Zealand that has this crazy terrains. Uh, and each week I'm getting rid of one couple. I'm looking for the qualities of a survivor. So it's not about, you know, being the fittest or the strongest or the first or the best. It's about looking for quiet determination and humility and resourcefulness and, you know, courage. And all of these things that re in real life situations keep people alive. And at the end of it, there's one couple left. I give them half a million dollars, but man, have they deserved it. You know, they've gone through hell at that point. And for me, the appeal was you see, uh, you see real heroes emerge from unlikely people. And that's why for me, this whole journey was very moving and, and also humbling just seeing, seeing these people grow. Very, very cool. Now, we've watched you do a lot of wild things on Man vs. Wild. We've seen you eat gross things and do dangerous things, jump out of helicopters. Will the contestants be doing any of those things? They're doing all of those things, you know, and, and you know, that, that's the fun part for me. It was devising and building these journeys, and they're totally, each one was totally different, different terrains, different gear they're carrying, and as they, they get harder and harder as the series go on, the amount of gear that they carry reduces. Uh, you know, so they've got to think fast, they've got to react quickly, they've got to be resourceful, they've got to work out ways to do stuff. Uh, and initially, they're a bit like sort of rabbits in the headlight. They, you know, they don't know what to do, and I'm guiding them and helping them. But it was amazing seeing their learning curve you know, that was very, very steep for seeing character and, and skills grow as it goes along. Um, but no, I, I've got them doing right the heart of the stuff that I've always done on Man vs. Wild, and that was a fun part, taking regular people to do, do, do that. Well, it sounds like it'll be so much fun to watch. Now, uh, we've watched you, as I mentioned, we've watched you do a lot of crazy things. Has there ever been anything in your journeys that has scared you or concerned you? Because we watch at home and we think, oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't believe he's doing this. So has anything scared you or really worried you? Yeah, I mean, you know, I wouldn't be human if, you know, I didn't get scared by this stuff. I mean, every day we're filming, we're in difficult, unforgiving, places and you know I wouldn't be honest if I wasn't saying I wasn't scared sometimes you know I broke my back in a free fall accident whilst I was in the military yet would skydiving a lot for you know man vs wild and forget out alive and you know I'm climbing stuff all day and you're dealing with sharks and snakes and crocodiles and you know all of this stuff that has been such a big part of my life with the discovery show and you know, and I wanted to bring a lot of these elements to get out alive and also encourage people to be able to face the things they're scared of. And what for me was amazing was seeing these regular people who are sometimes terrified of heights or terrified of rapids and moving water or terrified of this and, and helping them overcome it and then letting them do it on their own and seeing that kind of confidence grow. And it's always appealing when you see genuine pride in people because they've come through something they never thought they could in a million years have done before. Definitely. Well, thank you, Bear, so much, and we look forward to watching the new show on NBC. Good. Enjoy it. Take care. Bye. Take care.